Okay, uh, morning guys. Just a uh, quick pop out the video for the Inokin 134 that arrived. Uh, been eyeing one of these uh, ever since I saw the prototype a few months back. Okay. It's the The casing that comes with it. Okay. Okay, and let's see. Uh, manual. And coolness. Whew. Holy shit, this this is big. Uh I opted for the full stainless steel uh, colored. Well, it's stainless steel. It's not just colored uh, version of it. There's uh, also a uh, another color where the inside uh, rod is black in color. Wow, I'm just flawed by the looks of this. Okay, uh, feels very uh, rock solid. The uh, whole thing is uh, stainless steel and uh, as what was uh, reviewed by some of the mod reviewers uh, on YouTube only the bottom cap is uh, not stainless steel it's uh, chrome chrome plated yeah but it still feels uh, very solid okay uh, I'm going to do a size comparison between it and a, uh, I think it's the world's smallest Mac mod, the Astro in 18350 size. <laughs> this is just nuts, okay? It's, uh, I mean, after holding this and now I'm holding this, is like, you know, this is the battery <laughs> and this goes in there. Okay, uh, size comparison with the Cyborg. Uh, okay, it's even taller than the Cyborg, and the Cyborg is already a very tall mod. Okay, uh, I put on the ST and, and see if it works. Uh, Might not fire uh, my my ST up as the uh, ST is on uh, very low ohms. Okay, wow. Uh, the top of the one three four is actually twenty one mm, uh, just like the ST. So you can see it sits flush. Very beautiful with the ST, in my opinion. Okay, uh, let me see. Okay, never mind. Uh, put in a battery and see if it will work with my ST. Okay. Okay, three clicks, I think, to power it up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hopefully it works. Nope. Try again. Nope. Probably need something uh, that is one ohm and above, if I'm not wrong. Okay. Uh, I'll just go ahead and uh, use my dream uh, RBA. Eddie, that I haven't vaped for almost a month. Okay, it should be this Eddie should be about one point four ohms. Uh, hmm. Hang on, a bit of dry heat. Uh, I got. 
the watt setting at the uh, 10 watts. Let's try it at 10 watts. Not bad. Let's try it at higher twelve watts. Okay, uh just gonna summarize this uh, real quick uh, it's not actually a full review okay uh, what can I say uh, as taught the reviewer always says uh, he you know I'm smitten by it you know uh, it's, it's quite shocking you know, to to look at and hold you know physically uh, if you had uh, watched the movie uh, Pacific Rim uh, you know uh, if they ever needed a, a cool looking key to start up the robot before they go on uh, their mission this will be it you know then it powers up uh, if uh, they ever needed the, uh, they ever decided to add a uh, a dick to the design of the Iron Iron Man suit, I suppose it will look like this. <laughs> uh, if the Jedi Knights from Star Wars. Uh, were looking for uh, their so-called unicorn lightsaber I believe it would look like this you know it's, this is seriously cool looking uh, due to the fact that it wouldn't fire my ST which uh, is, is I, I did a recall yesterday at point close to point 0.8 ohms uh, it was a, I think point 0.76 ohms uh, maybe 0 0.8 would have fired up uh, I do not know I need further tests to to, to verify this uh, I suppose if you are into sub homing you know and not just aesthetics you know this maybe isn't for, isn't, isn't for you but let me just uh, tell you this I've held just about every high-end mod there is in the market or seen one before there's nothing like this, you know. Uh, if only Inokin had decided to make this in uh, as a mechanical mod instead of a variable voltage mod, you know. Uh, just food for thought. Okay, big one. Cheers.